Hey everybody, so today I'm going to do a video about what I take with me when I go to abandoned buildings. I'm currently in an abandoned barn. There's lots of scratching sounds and there's lots of sounds of the cars and then when the wind goes, it goes really creepy. But anyway, I thought I'd just tell you what I take with me when I go to an abandoned building. I do a lot of that. So first of all, I got this. This is the Greta Great Outdoors backpack. This is actually a running backpack. And the reason why I take a running backpack with me, it's light, it's thin, and it will fit on my back and it will enable me to run because when you go to an abandoned building, sometimes you have to climb. Try not to get stuck this time. I won't. It won't be like stabbing. It's kind of stabbing. Ta-da. Oh, this my finger. Effortless. And you want to make sure that your backpack can like securely stay still whilst you're like clambering over things. Also, on what I wear when I go to a banter building, I tend to wear my running gear and trainers, good quality trainers that will enable me to go running. Um, and normally I get a hoodie of some sort because it can get quite dusty. But one of the things that's really helped me this time when I go to a abandoned building has been this. My ski mask. Yeah, so I take a ski mask whenever I go to a abandoned building and that is because I went to a few abandoned buildings last week. I went to seven, seven days, pretty good. And so I invested in getting one of these. It's just a ski mask, you can buy it from anywhere. Listen to music. <laughs> Because when you're listening to music, it's a lot harder to get freaked out by the building itself. I'm hypersensitive to the like, farm people. Okay, this, this is a litre water bottle. I definitely recommend getting a litre water bottle because you're in the area where everything's being decayed and mouldy. A lot of dust and you need to make sure that you stay hydrated. I think it's gone. Okay, so what else do I have inside my backpack that I take with me for brand building? Uh, these, these are my house keys. I take this. This is a Color Run poncho that I got. So it's one of those cheap free ponchos. It's just in case you go somewhere and it starts raining. I've also got a this. This is necessary, okay? This is hand sanitizer. And when you're in an abandoned building, you do touch quite a lot of dirty things. So I definitely recommend taking hand sanitizer with you if you're gonna go and explore. This, this is some banded in case you hurt yourself. I think you have to make sure that when you're in an abandoned building, if you do hurt yourself, essentially you might not be able to get out if it gets really, really bad. And so just taking a first aid kit with you is very important because they are quite dangerous. Okay, and I also take a torch. This is a torch, but it also has a little pen on it for when I want to do a Snapchat or if I want to do an Instagram or something and I can draw on it. That's just for me for social media, but it also has a tiny little torch. So this one I would just use if I wanted to have a look in like a little alcove bit. I tend to use my phone. I am working on buying myself like a fog light or something so that I can get a really powerful light. But at the current moment, the brightest torch I have is a head torch. I also take glove, a lot of gloves. You never know what you're going to be touching in an abandoned building and it's good to just like keep your hands protected particularly if you're going to be climbing up things. I don't know about you, but I have quite soft hands. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to, you can share it. This is just like some random tips. But yeah, me and Holly are going to be doing a brand new series. Uh, if you want to know who Holly is, you can check her out on Instagram because she doesn't have YouTube because, you know, I'm the only real YouTubers around. Also, I just want to say thank you to all the fans and support that I've been having recently and messages. It's been really nice. I'm going to try and keep doing YouTube whilst I'm in uni, but I can't guarantee anything. But yeah, I'll try to. And yeah, you know what I'm going to say. Okay, hello? Another tip, if you do meet somebody when you're in a banner building, just be honest, tell them why you're here, you're curious, okay? Often they're a lot more understandable than you think. Hello? But I do think I'm alone and I do think it's just the wind. So, Nali isn't a real word and you know it. How you, how you, how you ain't go